All right, ladies and gentlemen, everyone out there in the crowd, you better sit down and grab a cold one because we're gonna bring the heat tonight. The arena is back. And as always, I'm emotional because I am joined by a very, very special person here to me, HBT, on the mic for the first time. How do you feel, brother? It's so nice to see you here. Oh, it's an absolute pleasure to be on, man. Thank you for bringing me on <laughs> and you know it's been an absolute pleasure of course whilst i haven't always been in chat i've always been like a fan of rips arena kind of like watching it in the background mind you and just like kind of seeing the massive work you've been doing for the european scene so big love from chat to rips arena for one making this possible and two also bringing me in here so i can do some fantastic commentary for mortal kombat one and man thank you again for having me on it's an absolute pleasure it is a big, big honor for me as well, my friend. And yes, what a time, right? Because we are back with our new series here in the Arena Empire, so to say. You guys know it. We have our 5,000 Euro League series. But the community said this is not enough. We need more events. And now we have our standalone weekend top eight, region based. Yesterday, mm -hmm. we had the EU side. Once again, congratulations to Mirko, winning the very first one after a phenomenal tournament. But today, it is time for the absolute mad lads from the NA side, HBT. And I don't think that you are ready for today's lineup. Should we show it to them? Do you think they can take it? I think they can, but they should probably be a little bit ready because uh, there's some names here I'm very familiar with. A lot of old school legacy players, but there's a ton of faces and names I'm not quite so familiar with. So yes. it's very exciting for me all around, especially with new games and new talent always kind of coming into the scene. Let's take a look together, chat. But once again, grab a cold one. You are not ready for this lineup. Here we come, our eight warriors tonight. First, two, three, single elimination all the way. And the most beautiful thing about this bracket in general is the character diversity we are going to see tonight, HPT. Honeybee, Balder, just to give you the two characters, we are going to see Reptile versus Nitara in a competitive Ooh. tournament. I cannot Ooh. even believe that I'm saying this. Okay, that, that's that's gonna be something. <laughs> but HBT, that's that's not all. Do you want to know the second match? Big Shoot. Brain God representing CR, one of my PC homies, today joining this PS5 event. One of the best Gears players, a character we basically never see here in the arena, versus Sparks. And now wait, chat. Tanya main. What is this bracket HPT? What are this these is going to be very interesting. Like even so, because there aren't that many Gyruses kind of in Europe. Although I was in the US scene, it's definitely quite more prominent. So yes. I'm interested to see because the US style and the EU style is always very different. Oh, definitely. And that's the beauty of this tournament as well. Today, we are going to see so many new faces in action. I mean, the best competitive players reunited one more time for this top eight. Chat, for all these Scorpion fans in the chat, <laughs> for all the people who are harassing me for the last three years on a daily basis saying, Rip, where is Averk? Where is Averk? When do we see Averk? Yes, MK Javier is nice. Where is Averk? He is here tonight, chat. I made it happen. He made it happen. And that means we are going to see the one and only in a showdown of giants. Burrito Voris on the other side, HBT. Scorpion Gears, two of the best character specialists here in this bracket. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Of course, with Averk, I feel everyone's quite familiar with him at this point. But also, Rito Voorhees, some of you may be familiar with as Forever King Jr. <laughs> Whilst he also does have a Giris, he's known to actually have a really dangerous reign, who has had quite, uh, I'd say, the uh, resurgence in popularity of the last few weeks. Oh, well, definitely. Yes, I agree with that. I mean, reign... We have Rotha, of course. Burrito has one as well. Let's see what characters we are going to see. And maybe we're going to see some adjustments throughout these uh, specific matches as well, right? If you maybe can't win with your main, get the secondary going. It is going to be a blast, that's for sure. Because the overall level in this, straight up through the roof. Last but not least, of course, my homie himself. Anbrotos, how I like to call him. 
the best Shang in MK11? Is he gonna be the best Shang in MK1 HPT? That is the question. Plus, is not real on the other side. General Shao Sweatlord. Thank you guys so much for your constant support. This is gonna be a wild, wild ride. HPT on the mic for this event. I am so proud. And now it is time to see some of the best MK1 gameplay in the entire business. Honeybee versus Balder. Reptile. Nitara. Who is going to take it? Let's take a look at the chat prediction. 89% on Honeybee. I can Ooh. understand it, HPT. I gotta say it. I can understand it. Honeybee is a very old school legacy player, man. Like, it, it's understandable that Boulder would be pushing against the tide here, especially in terms of, like, favoritism. But in saying that, this is essentially kind of like the battle of what you could say are the low tiers currently in the game. So you never know what these two might pull out that we've never ever seen before. Because Natara, as a character, is someone who I'm largely under familiar with because of her lack of representation in tournament. Could do without. Yes, very no, interesting. Of course, way. must be pointed out that this will be single elimination. So these are do or die situations and the adaptation we're going to see from both of these players I was going to have to come on the fly and be extremely swift. So, and I'm so curious because at least according to the community, they say those are two low tier characters in the current meta. Reptile struggles, Nitara struggles for obvious reasons. I still think it is too early to say that because we still haven't found the full potential of these characters. But let's see what these two are going to do, HBT. Yeah, very true, but oh, we're going to use a Scorpion Assist, which has gained a significant amount of popularity. I would say in the last two or so weeks, due to the tech that has been found with Lee Mei, and since then, people have just been, like, going absolutely bored to the wall of what can be done, but beautiful spacing by Honeybee, just choosing not to overextend, and that's so smart that he goes for the Scorpion Assist to set up the invisibility. <laughs> oh, so dirty, bro. He looks so, so dirty, dangerous bro. with that character. He is putting in so much work every single day. Whenever I find time, I tune in into a Honeybee stream, and this man is on the grind non-stop. One million percent. And, you know, he's always been an extremely passionate legacy player. You know, of course, now big congrats to him. I know he does have a child on the way. Doesn't quite have all of that free time, but still does have the time to stream, put in the effort, and show that, hey, man, I might be an old-school legacy player, but I can still hold up with the new blood. And we can see that that Balder, he is in trouble. Honeybee, invisible 99% of the time. Yeah, I will say, the way that Honeybee has been challenging, like, the 50-50s and, like, spacing things out, goes for the overhead. Gonna go into the restand fatal blow. Yep, gonna close this out very quickly, but very, very confident in his play. I will say that Balder, unfortunately, has had a few combo drops here, which is really, really heartbreaking, considering the nature of Natara's character of just like struggling to reinforce her, uh, was it, her aggression. But that, that was the most <laughs> anti-climactic <laughs> finish. Is that a ever. game? One fatality from, what is Honeybee doing? Why is he evil like that? <laughs> that, that didn't, he did not need to do that, but he still did. And I don't know if I respect it or I consider that like, yeah, that, that kind of toxic, yo. HBT, do you think this is a message to every single player in this top eight tonight? This early on, we all knew that it was going to be a bloodbath. So it, this seemed like the perfect way to start things off. Okay, Honeybee, he is confident. But when I look at this bracket and the upcoming matches, I have absolutely no idea who is going to take this. There are so many killers in this top eight tonight. I mean, Aver here in the arena for the first time. Burrito Voris. We have Arn Kratos alongside Big Brain God. Plus, it's not real sparks. This shit is stacked. And it might be even more sweatier than yesterday's EU top eight. Let's find out. 1-0. Definitely do, and Honeybee a uh, strong stop right out the gate, putting in aggression, or commits to the Scorpion cameo, but oh, gets caught out the air. Can't quite capitalize. Oh, get clipped the low, Serena tag. Oh, beautiful damage, but unfortunately, another combo drop from Boulder, but Honeybee gonna be caught by the projectiles coming back right now. Okay, Honeybee with his back against the wall, but that. Acid Ball. I th still think it is such a decent tool. What an up block. Beautiful punish from Honeybee. The spacing immaculate. And once again, it is party time. Big combo incoming. Scorpion here with the assist. Look at the damage numbers, HPT. 
Oh yeah, you gotta guess a beautiful catch from Boulder at the moment. Gonna catch it low. Oh, goes for the airdrop, just holds north into the neutral drop and gonna close out the round and are they been playing this relatively well for the most part? Unfortunately, Boulder again, a few combo drops here and there. This doesn't allow him to capitalize on all that damage. That with punish was straight out of hell. That was beautiful. Boulder slowly waking up, but he needs so much more than this, even though this is some big boy damage right now. Mm -hmm. One game up is very important for Honeybee, but you know, Boulder can bring things back. It's still extremely early, but man, you can't deny that playing against like someone of Honeybee's caliber, like that that's pretty intimidating. I agree with that. One of the best and most consistent players we have in the scene. Just a great guy in general. But now again, corner position secured. Honeybee in the driver's seat, even though Boulder has the life lead in general. Yeah, just honestly, Honeybee just kind of bullying at the moment. Just pressing, poking, not shooting to overextend, but goes for the forbidden, just invincible kick of Serena. I that I can see that. Wait a minute. This is not over, Honeybee. There it is. <gasps> the little crocodile dandy, oh. how Ava likes to call it. Cole goes for the big hover jump free. Gonna get the first round, even if things out. This is what Boulder needs. But it's whether or not he can carry that momentum because it got it got a little bit scrappy there in that last game between the two. But is say, it going to be Boulder waking up now? That's true, because here's the thing, right? And I think Honeybee's been playing this really well. As we've seen with the balls, he's been purposely spacing them out. And what he's been doing is slowing the pace of the game so it tailors to his favor. So he, but Boulder can't throw himself what? in to do all that big damage. But talking of big what damage... What that combo HPT? 45% <laughs> to the kisser, sponsored by Young Honeybee. This yeah, my man just... Went in there and just drew blood, but Border right now is showing that he can challenge that damage himself. That's so gonna be like 50, 52% on the board. Oh, this is gonna do a lot as well. Beautiful fatal blow conversion from Boulder, but even after all this damage, Honeybee still with the life lead. Yeah, gonna catch him off the jump back. No, capitalizing off it goes for the low. Oh, wake up buttons and just. I, I respect it. I just didn't. Expect it! <laughs> Whoa! HBT already losing it here in match number one. I think we have to take a look at this replay because that honeybee combo, I have literally never seen that before. And all that, here's the beginning. Take a look how he implemented that. There's the spacing, there's the opening. And now this man is going crazy. Scorpion there, assist. <laughs> this is so wild. Dude, I'm just, I'm watching this back now and I'm like... <laughs> This scorpion assist is so <laughs> slept on. Yes. What am I looking at, bro? And it leads into so much Lift damage, on. HPT. I mean, we have so all real. seen what scorpion so cameo can do with Melina, for example, right? When the damage is basically oh. 50 plus with every single touch. I love that we're seeing more diversity and it's not Cyrex all the way through. Oh, 100%. I think that's kind of... The best part about this game is that the longer it goes on, the more like people are gonna realize that it just it does not just have to strictly be Serena Sarax. There's so much yes. diversity in the game exactly. and like the creativity of it. Oh my Daisy! He can combo off that low. Oh, that is disgusting. He goes into the Basilisk run, turns himself invisible. I have to guess. Beautiful neutral duck. What a conversion! Gonna go into the restand. And again, gets the invisible setup, double force balls. Good, you gotta guess. Beautiful poke. Oh, goes for the cancel. Little, thinks a little bit too far ahead. Oh, that's that big tail swing right there from Honeybee. That was so sick. <laughs> that was so sick. Big jump free into the reptile drop. Honeybee is. For the, him, it's literally another day in the office. I have never seen Honeybee having a bad day. He is always so consistent, and he is the king of adaptation on top of that. Did you see the spacing? Beautiful. And funny enough, that actually goes back to the replay. That is the same thing he did before. And it's very lucky that Boulder did have that breaker on deck, because that would have another 45%. But invisibility blocks the overhead, but Boulder tries to overextend. Ooh, gonna get all the ranks. Okay, very simple damage. Yeah, only 14% for that. But yeah, again, have to another draw as much blood as possible right now. A well, beautiful breaker. Get off me from Honeybee. Both players still feeling each other out. It looks like Honeybee's trying to slow down the pace a tiny bit, but 
Oh, gets caught with a stray ball. Oh, where is he? Oh, big point blank dive kick. Oh, these flashy combos. <laughs> I got yes. lucky. These, these combos are sick. I mean, after MK11, that's what we all wanted to see, right? Big combos, flashy combos, and NRS, they delivered. Let's be honest here, everyone. Beautiful float over that. Yeah, great play from Boulder, but unfortunately, too little, too late. Honeybee's going to close out our first game and maybe look for a fatality and not quite land it. But we respect think, the attempt. I think Honeybee, you know, he just wanted to go for the triple T back here in match number one. Honeybee, yeah. <laughs> what's wrong today? Who hurt you, my friend? Looking exceptionally strong in that first game. <laughs> I want to see if we can carry that momentum into like the second round, of course. But very well played from both. Unfortunately, for Boulder, it just seemed like he just struggled to open up Honeybee, which is something that seems to be very common from what I hear with Natara players. Oh, yeah. Definitely. I mean, the character struggles a lot. All the Nitara mains actually say the same thing. Whiffing issues, right? Low HP. Deoxys, for another example. I can see the message every single day on Twitter. I'm curious what kind of adjustments NRS is going to make in the long run, you know, with the balance patches. It is going to be a wild ride. But yes, that was only the appetizer. HPT, we are just getting started. And I don't think you guys are ready for the next no. match. Let's bring in the lineup let's take a look at it because now it is time for bbg aka big brain god one of my, personally my favorite players to watch even back then <coughs> in mk11 whenever i saw this dude on a stream he is always delivering gears loyalist one of the best gears in the entire game and today he got matched versus sparks which is another a very, very interesting player to watch. Let's bring in the player cards. Let's talk about it. Because a Tanya main in a competitive set, we don't see that every day. And now we're going to see Tanya versus Gears most likely. I cannot wait for this. Yes, this is a matchup that I actually, I got to say, I've never seen happen, I think. And uh, here's the thing, right? I, I've, I've played Gyrus, I've mingled around with him, but I've never actually played against the Tanya, so I don't know how this matchup goes. And especially, you know, we're talking about the base characters of themselves. When it comes to, like, what the cameos can do, it adds so much versatility now. And now that the game has come out even longer, is there some new tech that we haven't seen with certain cameos? And that's a great exhibition series and also can serve as a really helpful way to kind of help people that are grassroots or kind of like in the yes. semi-competitive phase get a little bit more familiar with the competition internationally. Exactly. That is um, one of the big, big reasons why I will never do tournaments only. A lot of people reach out to me say, Rip, can we maybe do tournaments only? I will never do it because, as you said, HPT, I want to give every single player the chance to play here on the big stage. No matter the skill level, if you're a beginner, if you just bought MK yesterday, you're more than welcome to play here. But right now we're moving on to our Ooh. second big match and interesting variation selections. Actually, these are two, var uh, I say variation, I'm so familiar with it. These are two cameos. I've not actually seen these two be paired with Striker and Sector. Whereas if we've seen with Tanya a second ago, looks like she can turn a lot of the stuff very, very safe due to the Sector missile. Although I'm yet to see what potential Striker has with Gyrus here. Of course, a really big, bulky grappler associated with time and set things up. Well, the spacing from Sparks is good, though. And that is one of the only times I'm seeing a high-level Tanya in action. I heard rumors about Sparks. People reached out to me and said, Rip, he is dangerous with that character. And we see that here in round number one already. 1-0. One oh, oh going to get the command grab. Obviously, he gets clipped the overhead. But, man, that's something we got to talk about with Tanya. And that's that crazy chip and just, like, the sheer range she has on her specials. Absurd. Break already just in time for BBG. But another oh. opening found by Sparks right after this. That is so dangerous and lethal. Oh, gonna miss under it and get the special. Oh, play just checking, goes for the big forward three on the splat. So interesting. Is BBG actually choosing to utilize more zoning version of Gyrus? Like, obviously he has striker with the bombs. Then of course, like he does have the tornado, but you know what? You don't even worry about it. You're going to take out his legs. I will say Gareth does a 
Yeah, my my man, my man's legs are chicken wings. <laughs> That's, that's real. <laughs> Sparks showing the dominance in round number one. Oh, one of the youngest players in the competitive NRS scene. But this kid is ridiculous. And we see that here in round number one. BBG feeling the pressure. And now he needs to bring this back. Do we see a switch? Maybe another cameo? No, we're giving it another shot, apparently. Maybe so. I mean, it's still quite early on. Oh, there we go. We go to Serena if you want that big damage output. Very, very good for that. Now, I want to see what BBG does in this match because the last match, clearly with Sparks, not just familiar with it, just very oppressive. Really reinforced this game, made it very simple, and also had that sector cover his back at every opportunity. But in saying that, Raw Spin going to get caught the standing one to the time stop. Oh. Oh yeah, and here comes BBG, one of my favorite moves in the game. Just the hard knockdown, and now he's going crazy. Good yeah, end like... and he picked it up even. Adjusted it comfortably. Gonna go for the sand burst. Actually, quite nice optimal damage. Try to go for the command grab. Can't get it, and gets the armor break. Gonna get a full combo. Oh, gonna slam to the ground. Gonna go for the side switch again. This is so swaggy. Oh my days. Catch great spacing at the moment. Oh my god, look at how quick the life bar has switched so spontaneously. Gonna have the corner again and then cancel to the fatal blow. Oh my days, that was a two touch interaction. Yo, this will kill. <laughs> I gotta be real, how are these players I've been playing right now? This is chip death situation. But wait, 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 that is a man of belief. That is a man of belief right there. Unfortunately, can't get caught tornado off the stracery in the projectiles. Oh, that's so cheeky, dude. She can do that straight. Cancel into the buff whilst the sector covers her. Continue her pressure. That is nasty. Okay, and now one. let the mind games begin. Gears, Reiko, and Shao, the only characters in MK1 with the command grab. Beautiful launch, another full conversion. Get your ass into the corner. I want to talk to you, baby. Yeah, gonna crack another hourglass, of course, build up to that Gyrus time skip, but hasn't really had an opportunity right now because just Spark just constantly wants to stay up in your face, want to do that Tanya oppressive game with her strings and her reach. Beautiful break. Oh, what a trade off there. Couldn't quite capitalize. We're just gonna just gonna get the one, two, two into the grab. Let it rock. Another like, hourglass. Yes, I like that the first hits completely with, but he still got it anyway. Like I said, this is a man of belief right now. He is swinging and it's working. But saying that, the time stop has been locked in. Ooh, straight string. Goes for the one, two. Gonna go for the spin into the sector. This is gonna jail. That is a game of peace right now. This is this is gonna be really close, but BBG does have that time stop locked in, and there it is. Gonna yeah, go for the big seeing the future here in front of our eyes. Great call out. Let the party begin. Sparks again. What a conversion! What is that combo? Even? That was sick. Oh, beautiful. Gonna get that. See that sh that string is so disgusting because it's just. It's so good. It ends in an overhead. You count on to low to get that launch if need be. And the chip on it's really good. It really is, yes. And I'm st I still don't really understand why not more players play Tanya. I think she has all the tools needed in this game. She is so strong. It's one of those characters that's only going to get better over the course of time. She sits what I would say is like deadpan middle in the high tier but it's, like i said there's going to be a surgeons at one point where everyone's going to be playing this character guarantee it oh, that is a whip back one oh there doesn't have the fatal blow to cancel into it bbg right now just choosing to play very patient but there's only so long you can take that tip Damage. Oh, oh. I cannot oh. breathe. You could flawless, but he tried to press oh, breaker. Still ready. We are barely alive at this. Oh, that was so Sparks. disgusting. That was so close. Of course, spends the meter, turn the projectile into a mid. It's just gonna pop PBG in the face right there. Well played from Sparks, but th there was so many clutch moments from PBG that entire entire game. Man, this top eight and. I mean, don't get it wrong, chat. I know that I'm an EU-located tournament organizer, right? But these 8 and A players today so far, HPT, 
Look at the variety. Look at the overall level these boys are playing at. Absolutely mind blowing. I enjoy every single second of it so far. Chat, rate this tourney from 0 to 10 right now. Do you think these guys are bringing the heat? This is a really strong game. And you know what? This is my favorite part. This is only the second match. <laughs> it's only gonna get more hype from here. I mean, I two wait. words for you. Averg Burrito. Coming up next, chat. No one is ready for this. Oh yeah, like th th those are both my boys right there. And I I'm like, I I'm gonna be, I'm be I can't be biased. I mean like, I love you guys, but man, I can't be biased. You guys gotta rip each other apart for entertainment. Beautiful optimal damage. You're gonna get a kill it with the raw forward three. Just gonna check. Oh, the oh, matchup knowledge. Tom Sparks, I like it. Lazy. Thank you so much for the support in the chat. Can say the same thing to every single one of you guys out there. Thank you so much. Yes, I believe BBG accidentally caught the Serena cameo instead for the meter drain, but oh, this is gonna hurt. Goes for the damage buff. Gonna gel into the sector again, and this is gonna be a chip out situation. Yep, there it is. Match point Sparks right now. And Sparks is currently dominating this set. I didn't expect this at all, and the viewers didn't as well. When we take a look at the chat prediction, it's quite close. Dude, I'm not sure if you picked up on that, but that was so sick. He went for the Tanya Low special, and it goes right under Serena. Clipped the pair of them. Cancelled oh, out the second projectile dirty. to pull back. Oh, such great matchup knowledge being shown at the moment. Oh, he didn't have to do that. That was so sick. Gonna have the corner to work with. A near flawless victory at the moment. And no just sparks. gonna challenge it. No sparks. Someone has to stop this kid. What is he doing to my boy BBG in front of 900? That was a very, very strong showing from Sparks right there. And like, like I said, and I think we saw it in the previous game. BBG had these beautiful flashes of just clutch knowledge just coming into play, but the second he did, Sparks just adjusted just a tiny bit in that last game, which is why that last game was just so incredibly oppressive. He started to challenge a lot of things, utilize the armor, really weaponize and just show that matchup knowledge in play to just uh, just shut down BBG's options. And it's, it's hard to see that, but it goes to show the credit of this young man and the talent he does have. Oh, I completely agree with that, HPT. And yes, as we mentioned, slowly the players are really figuring out what's possible because compared to MK11 right now with MK1, to have the ability to have a main character mixed with a cameo, while cameos change the entire matchup chart so heavily, in my opinion, cameos are ridiculously strong in this game. We talked about that several times. I think everyone agrees with it at this point. And when you take a look at the bigger picture, right, the possible combinations, we just scratched the surface so far, HBT, in my opinion. Oh, one million percent. And here's the thing. It's only, here's the best part, and I, I envy your job for this. This is only going to get more chaotic <laughs> for you as each DLC character oh, comes yes. along. Because we got Tremor on the way. We've only seen two specials with him. We don't even know if he has, like, the hyper armor flex from MKX. Definitely. Like, we've got that and then of course we got Ferrah, and then we've got janet cage and dude like the, what comes with this game over the next year is going to be very exciting and then oh, yes. of course subsequent future dlcs it's only going to get better definitely i mean that's something we can all agree on and even though i didn't want to show it today hbt take a look at the stream right now i gotta show you guys something very very cool we are You're working right, on candle. something in the back and I think you guys have never seen something like that. Take a look at this. We are working on oh. statistics for MK1. Just a little teaser here in the beginning because the next match is starting and now all the Averk fans in the crowd. I want every single one of you to go crazy right now. It is time for one, if not the best Scorpion in the entire business. I got message every single day for the last three years. Rip, when are we gonna see Averg in action? And today it is time. I see him in this lobby. Let's take a look at the chat prediction. 69% on Averg. I see what you guys are doing Ooh. there. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, damn it, you guys ruined it. <laughs> So the oh, same is... matchup, we have another 
Gears player Burrito, this time behind the controller, and Averick. I'm so excited Can because I see Mirko and MK Javier on a daily basis, right? Our top dog EU Scorpions. But now let's see what this man is all about, chat. Here we go. Again, it goes back to what we mentioned earlier about the difference between EU and NA style. But again, Burrito Voorhees, whilst we talked about Averk, cannot deny his own legacy within the series as a whole. Of course, with his older brother, Forever King, now very, very familiar and one of the best Gearses around currently. So, I'm interested to see what Burrito is able to pull out the hat when it comes against someone as talented and as dangerous as Ava. But oh, oh but let the mind games one. begin. Here comes the mix and Burrito starting very, very strong. Those are some big boy damage numbers and it's not even over yet. He is still going. What the oh, hell is this? Wait. That is disgusting. Goes into the Cyrax net so you can get two clips on that. Gonna finish the end of string war. Oh. That was so, so smart, Avo. When you're playing against a command grab character, you obviously want to kind of call out that command grab. But instead, choose to hold the delay wake up so that way when Burrito Voorhees commits to the forward three, full combo punish. Oh, another command grab. Oh, 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 oh. I gotta go for the Cyrax into the assist and then get another forward three. Beautiful stuff from Burrito. But Avo, not out of this just yet, choose to go for the cancel and keep himself safe. The Cyrax assist. Oh. Very, very dangerous. Goes for, I believe that is a stand 2 1. I think so too, yes. And especially with the Cyrus assist, the players, they figured out that it's sometimes smart to just eat the spin from Scorpion. So you get out of that block stun, right? And it is your turn again. I see that so many times lately. And Averick, wait a minute. <gasps> Beautiful opening. The Microduck right after the combo drop. Oh, he is what? going wild. Yeah, just whiff into button, man. Again, it just. <laughs> The, the NA players, people believe that was so disgusting. He was looking for a forward throw bomb setup. Beautiful catch. Shimit oh. doesn't believe in it. Yeah, Burrito just walking down at the moment. Gotta see what Averick does. Oh, gets clipped, but can't capitalize on it. And gonna get the spear. Beautiful break. Has to go for it. Burrito ball. He's one touch, and then that's it for him. Ooh, catch him off the back one. Gonna close things out. Avo still in this. Playing really, really well with Space Gate. Oh, this is a close one. This is a super close one. Good opening found by Averick once again. But here, Burrito with the answer. Yeah, caught him a little bit on beat right there, but oh, beautiful damage coming to my but drops it again. That is twice, unfortunately, Burrito has actually dropped that combo. And whilst it hasn't cost him the entire game, it is going to cost him about 37% on the board, but the 424 and misses the standing one again. So getting clipped off it, board 3 2. Going to get full combo punish. Man, it's so simple, but so much damage. It is so simple, but so effective. And right now we have Averg in a very, very decent position. Burrito fighting for his life. Very, very close to chip out. Can he bring this back? I have no idea. Oh, seeing a lot of stray buttons from Burrito at the moment. This is definitely win territory, but man, this is so scary. One touch That's all it's going to take. And then chip. Yep. That's all he needed. And you see, this is the funny thing, right? Burrito walks down Averk to the corner, but at that point where Averk has nowhere else to go, and it's chip death territory for Burrito, it's either Cyrax or the, the spin. Like, it comes down to one of those situations, and yes. it was unfortunate. Like, Burrito played that really, really solid, but those combo drops, man, that's, that is what ultimately caught him at the end. Yes, and of course, HBT, um, we have the cameo details as well. Let's take a look at it, Chad. We are professional out here, and Big Baba Frankie with the 50 euro donation in the meantime. Serena, 279 games. Cyrex, 247. Yeah, we are trying to give you guys a little bit more, you know, tournament details, inside statistics. I think it's a great addition. Of course, a lot of work for us. But we sacrifice us for your entertainment on a daily basis. 108 Averick. You know what? I've never seen that before, but that is so sick. The fact that he can do that low into the Cyrax assist and still get a combo. Dude, I'm finding new stuff out about this game every day. Yes. So the amount of just versatility these players are coming up with. But going for the time stack right now, misses the net. Oh, stuff. Great blocks from Averick, but. Only so long you can do it. And Burrito going for the optimal into the time stop again. Oh, we get another time. Gonna throw him into it. 38%. Raw forward free. Oh, catch him back one. Just gonna throw him again. Smart stuff from Averk, but 
little too little too late of that duck. Man, these are true nail-biter fights, in my opinion. The overall level tonight, straight up through the roof, and Burrito now looking for that 1-1. He wants to be on the board as well. Yeah, beautiful flawless block from Avery, but he's going to get caught by the sneaky low, the forbidden low you never ever see. Going to grab another time stop, can't quite capitalize, unfortunately. A fair few drops from Burrito here right now, but insane that just going to pick up where he left off. Oh, he's trying to time skip it twice. Didn't land. Oh, that was that was really quick. Oh, Burrito, he is here, and we have a match, everyone. Can I get some eos in the chat? Can we get some noise? Yo, that was that was so systematic from Burrito. Just the second he put Averk in the corner, Averk unfortunately just guessed wrong, played off B, and just got caught every single time for it, which is a real shame considering, you know, he controlled the momentum of the first game yeah. really, really well. So I'm so curious. I mean, at this point, I have absolutely no idea who is going to win this entire thing. This is back and forth all day long. Let's dive into the next round. 1-1 one, one currently. Who is going to take the lead after this? Quick reminder as well that this is only just game three. So it's it's gonna get more and more just it's gonna melt your brain bro i, I gotta be real it's gonna get more explosive <laughs> from this point onwards a very smart stuff from burritos doing stuff that i've never seen before and i played a bit of gears myself but oh gonna get cool oh interesting whiff right there Beautiful two one i've never seen this conversion before gonna go standing through to the explosion or two into the throat that did so much what the hell is this? This guy is bringing a Gears I've literally never seen before. The the way he plays that character is super unique. See, that's one of the crazy parts about Burrito. So, if you actually go to his Twitter and his timeline feed, I would say right now, he probably has... Oh, he has easily the most experimental version of Gears I have seen. And we're seeing it now, man. This is so cool. Oh, checks in the forward three. Gonna get the forward throw. Empty jump. Goes for the big jump three. Beautiful. Just a lot of patience being shown from Burrito right now. Choosing not to overextend. I say that. Just a raw, just point blank forward two. Oh, did he spend meter for that? He's gonna get the time stopping. Very good call out from Burrito as well after that stagger. And once again, strike throw. What is it gonna be? That command grab. Always a threat. Good poke from Averk here. Yeah, gonna catch him out that forward three, but doesn't quite get the full mileage out of that beautiful flawless block. Gonna get a full combo punish. What the hell is this? So, once Gyrus utilizes three of the time stops, he has the ability to have his own inbuilt breaker system. So, that's the reason why Burrito has been micromanaging that the entire game. But saying that, Ava looking to close things out right now, playing really, really solid really well might i add about 14 seconds left on the clock right now so this could be a timeout situation so what's for breakfast now Aver here closes the gap perfectly oh. immediate pressure after wake up Final round. beautiful stuff Fight. also never seen that taunt that's a sick taunt but oh the whiff going for the punish right now to the time stop four two oh locks it in gonna get the throw have the corner to work with this may be shades of the previous game oh goes for the forward three Looks for the delayed wake up, checking the forward one. Catch him again. Just being caught with strays everywhere <laughs> right now. This is the flop to victory. Bro. <laughs> someone has to stop this man. I have literally never seen someone play Gears like that. Burrito is an absolute wild dog once he throws you into that corner, man. It's like, it's just mixed. Keep myself safe. Oh, you think you're going to flawless block this? I'll just have Cyrix to cover me. Oh, you're, you're blocking low? I'm going to forward free you. Oh, you're just going to yes. hold block? I'm going to throw you out the corner for this 19% command grab. He mixes it up so good. And we have one person in the chat, HPT, saying, Man, I stopped playing Gears because I think the character is trash. But now, after seeing Burrito in action, he is like, Okay, maybe I just have to lap a little bit more. Because that's what happens when you really crack down, you know, a character. You find stuff which makes it really, really strong. And Burrito is the perfect display of this. 
Yes, actually, I want to touch on a previous point that you noted. You remember how you mentioned it was worth getting hit by the Cyrite to yes. take your turn back? I, we just saw it in that game, actually. Just the opening sequence itself. Oh, beautiful 36%. A lot of stray buttons right now. Do you, you think Avok might be a little bit shaken up because of like the flawless victory in the last game? Because I would be shitting bricks. Oh, same right here, HBT, <laughs> yes. <laughs> for real, but goes for that full combo conversion. Gets the breaker out of Verita right now. Okay, Avok looking very solid this round. Big life lead, that is going to do it. Yeah, going to push him to the corner. Ava doing a really, really good job. You could. Uh, here's the funny thing. Despite me having mentioned like getting shaken up. Oh man, we put him in the corner again. This is this is a scary situation. Now, come on, grab. I want to see the first game really five tonight. Yeah, it, it very well, very, very well could be. But when Marina gets that corner, man, it's it's very scary. Oh, that was smart. Keep himself safe with the Cyrax assist. Gets the time stop enabled. Oh, look how slow they're working themselves out. Oh, beautiful oh, web punish from Averk. Oh, gonna go back in time. Gonna re-get that health again. Oh, beautiful duck from Averk calling out the command grab that he has been caught by a fair few times. Gonna get the Cyrax assist. Gonna capitalize. Oh, oh Averk, that was a reset so and Burrito wasn't sick. ready. That I've never seen before. And that, yep, that's going to be it. And we have a game. Oh, five. Chad, it is Love time, that. everyone. We are going to set this bad boy on fire tonight. Aver again, Burrito. They are going crazy. Dude, we have a game on our hands. This is so, so sick. And, you know, if. Oh, I have to be real with you. When I saw the bracket, I was like. When I see these two playing against each other, it's going to be a treat for everyone. Because I'm so familiar <laughs> with how they play, man. And they're putting on a hell of a match right now. Yes. Scorpion, Cyrax, Cyrax, so, let me show you something, my friends. Let me show you how we roll in the arena when there's a game five. Burrito versus Averg. There can only be one winner tonight. We're going to set everything on fire. Here we come. Let's get this party started. Beautiful start as well. Four, four, three, but Ava right now pulling in the damage. 34%. Just spacing things out, but Burrito back himself. Goes for the chest bump. Doesn't quite get the time stop off it. Four gets the raw forward three right now. Oh, there's a time stop enabled once again. Beautiful blocks. A lot of patience now being shown in this final game between the two. But oh, we're gonna catch him on that whip. Forward two, gonna get into net. Yep, gonna get the setup. Two. He's gonna go for the third one. Yes, he is. That is another time stop locked in once again. Just very simple. And yes, Chad, someone is gonna die tonight. The Chad is saying the scoreboard. <laughs> yes, there's the skull looking oh. at the player names. And Burrito is looking so dominant. Playing very, very well and very solid. But we can't dismiss Averk. He, like, the last game he did have played really well. And unfortunately, was holding the block on that. Tried to go for that whiff punish on the snap. Very. This is a much slower game than what we had before. And you kind of feel like them knowing that this is their last game. They've got to be a bit more careful. And saying that, Maria does get the breaker out of him. Oh, tries to catch him. It's a down one. Gets for the chest bump. This is going to be big confirmed. damage. Yes. Big boy Good. numbers incoming. Yeah, oh, 30%. Going to catch the chest bump again. Beautiful flawless block from Ava. It caught the low, but uh oh, quarter time. Oh, beautiful delayed wake up. Going to get a full combo punish off the 3 2. <gasps> Tries to go for a time stop. Doesn't quite get it. Gets clipped out of it. I've never seen that before. Ever looking for the shimmies. Good patience. I like that he was able to block there. But once again, Burrito, another uh -oh. opening has been found. No bar available yet. Ever in trouble here. We are building all the pipe. Yeah, going to get the time stop again. Burrito's micromanaging of utilizing it in combo is so good. But catching <gasps> him at the end, drops the combo. Catch him down three. Goes for the <laughs> end of the game. And I couldn't see it ending any other way that was so sick that was just straight up Ugh. ridiculous one of the best mk1 Ugh. matches i've seen so far Averick burrito thank you guys so much for playing here tonight what a showdown
whilst that may have been the third game of the entire like tournament sequence, like they fought like it was grand finals, man. That was so <laughs> clean. <laughs> GG's to both of them. That was a hell of a match between the two. That was outstanding honestly from both of them thank you guys so much for for sticking around i mean hbt we have more than 1000 people here with us live on twitch a big shout out to everyone who's gonna watch this later on the youtube side as well it is a great day for me personally i'm so happy you can see i have a big big smile on my face hbt on the mic next to me hbt it's been such a blast to host this with you together do you enjoy the matches so far Oh, dude, that last <laughs> game, that last game, I had like my heart in my throat, bro. I, I couldn't breathe. And I was like, dear God, this is so good. And, you know, thank you for having me on. It's been long overdue and I'm super <sighs> happy I get to be here with yourself, your fantastic audience, with some of these, these beautiful matches that are going to be coming oh, our way. Because the next set, I'm really excited to see. <laughs> it is time, everyone. My boy. Arn Kratos versus Plus is not real. The only Shao loyalist in this bracket. We are sending out the invites. Everyone, get your prediction ready. Bet some points. This is going to be a great match in my opinion. Mikasa, thank you so much for the support. And here we go. The king of all Shang Tsung players. Arn Kratos, he is here tonight. I am so excited to see what Arn can bring to this. The thing is, when it comes to Arn Kratos, you know when he plays, you are in for just a master craft of deconstruction. Like, he's so good at, like, adapting and pulling apart someone's moveset and making really ballsy, bold call-outs, especially with, you know, what he did in MK11. I will never, ever forget we play. This man would just God shimmy back and forth, wait for you, press the button, fate will blow in your face, knowing full well the armor would protect him. Oh, I agree with that, yes. Can't wait to see this interesting matchup on paper. In my opinion, a very hard matchup for Shao, who struggles a lot versus good zoners. Of course, Kung Lao in the back, making it a little bit easier with a super strong low bus saw. Interesting. This is a style of Shang Tsung, but I have never, ever <laughs> seen before as well. That... Those loop combos, bro. They are so sick. I could watch it all day. Oh, good for the heavy axe swing. Time for the 50-50 guesses. Oh, that's quite got it. Yeah, gonna get get off me. Yo, that is so sick. The fact he can do that, get him on the pullback. That is very... The way this man is just switching aimlessly between old and young Shang is so <laughs> sick. I have never seen this before. Well, that was so close. The poke special from Aaron. Great respect from Plus is not real. Not pressing yet. And he was right with it. Ooh, ooh, that was sick. That was so clean. Well played. And get the call out. This is not going to kill, but it is going to be a heap ton of damage. Oh, gonna catch him with the low sword. That was Very so smart good. Stuff yes, I agree with that. That was super right. smart to go for the meaty bus saw. Keep yourself safe. Arn was looking for that wake up option. Gets a lot of checks at the moment, and Arn just he's playing a very methodical game, choosing not to overextend too too much, and if so, always wants to keep himself safe. But in this case for Plus, you know, he oh catches him with the point like low again. Alright, guess it's that is so disgusting, by the way. Going for the saw hat in, like, on the Shao, that is so scary to deal with. Oh, Kratos, the master of defense. We spoke about it, HPT. One of the best defensive players we had in MK11. He was known for that defense. Absolutely so. It was one of the, I think it was one of the traits that really kind of defined him from a lot of the players, especially in his region. But, oh, overextend and plus. Playing really well, slamming him back down on basically what only looks like to be a Soul Calibur axe. Oh, it doesn't quite catch him out the air. No bus off, more pressure, and that overhead connects. Oh, 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 oh. Plus is not real. Taking the first round, 1 0. Playing very, very well, mind you. And here's the thing, right? It was those point blank low launches that you're like. Surely I can react to this in time, but it's the last thing on your mind because it, it's such a bold move. 
That is right. Yes, I agree. And the first time message from Stump Price in the chat saying, coming over from YouTube for the first time. Is that HBT on the mic with you? Wait a minute. Let me check. Let me check. It looks like it. <laughs> yes, of course he is. Thank you guys so much for being here. HPT, once again, thank you so much for the great and phenomenal commentary. It's an absolute honor to be here with you tonight. 1-0 oh plus is not real. <laughs> Pleasure's all mine, and thank you very much as we go into our second round of our fourth game here. Right now, oh, beautiful call out on Kratos. The plus is not real leading the charge, but Arn is using such an unorthodox style of Cyrus. Oh, Shang that I've never seen. I've never seen be paired with Cyrus before, but oh, we're going to go into those loops. Oh, yeah, Arn um, Kratos oh. with the Shang BNB into 31%. That was a great call out, good jump over. This is a very close Ooh. match. Yeah, also, I'm not sure if you quite saw it, but Arn actually, with the low scroll, managed to catch out loud just behind. Lux. Yes, I saw that. He got clipped by that bad boy. Poor, poor man. But in saying that, Arn right now really controlling the pace of the match. And yeah, that, that seems the way Arn is playing was the same way Plus was in the last round. So I'm interested to see how this back and forth does go. But. Plus getting caught by a stray is forced to break. Oh, that oh. is going to be big damage. Antretos, he has the bar to break. Surprisingly, he is not going for it. Yeah, choosing to hold it instead. Going to go for the cancel on a flawless block that. Is he going to go for it again? No, chooses a poke instead. Oh, going to catch him with the overhead, but now he has to break. Gets caught with the low, and I will say I am very surprised that On has been caught with a fair few lows now. Jumps over the low hat just in time. Ooh. Just throwing out strings, man. The start switch again, and these beautiful combos. Oh, Double I love start the way switch. he picks this up all the time. Only 23% of damage, by the way. Still looked fancy as hell though. That is true, but you got to imagine how that actually does play into this matchup as a whole, especially when it's Shao, because he has the largest health pool in the game currently. <laughs> the boy is built like a freaking tank. <laughs> oh my god, my boy, he ate that tank. He <laughs> ate that tank and he ate the entire armada. I don't know what they're feeding him in Outworld, but I want some of that. Now he's going to go for the triple skulls. Great spacing at the moment from Arn, but... Plus, yeah, once he gets up that Lao hat, you got to play his game and beautiful blocks this time on. Not wanting to get clipped by that low launcher. Spacing, the absolute micromanaging of jumping between the two stances is never not going to impress me, but oh, I'm going to get that big launch, we saw that, that big breaker. Arn, he tried the back dash there, but that standing two from Shao is ridiculously good in neutral. Oh, absolutely. I believe, was it eight frames? And it yes, it is an eight frame far? standing too high, which is basically a half screen normal. What the is this? Oh, big call out from Fox, knowing that Arn has continuously been committing to that string as a whole. Really, really bold challenge right now. We're going to crush him in the chest. Get out of here. What's it going to be off this point? Oh, it's for the air skulls. Goes for the low hat. Ch challenges the plus frames. <gasps> no one at home to jump to. Nice. Oh, look at this chip right now. Plus, has to hold it. Got to be careful. Goes for the low. And again, goes for the start switch and just chips him out. And on Kratos, he is here. He is on the board after that first round loss. The boy is back. 1-1. One, one. We have another match. And this looks like another blockbuster HPT. Dude, I don't know how my heart's going to make it through the next few games. <laughs> I'm going to be real with you, bro. <laughs> I think so that is good. one of the main reasons why I lost all my hair, HBT. You know, hosting these <laughs> tournaments literally every single day for three oh, no. years now. Imagine! The General you know what? You, you're, you're a stronger man than I am. You can keep this job. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the action. Thank you guys so much for being here tonight. I hope you enjoy the show. The players are going crazy. HBT with one of the best commentators I've ever heard in my life. 1-1. You are too kind, brother, but now we are into our fourth game. Third set, point on the board right now. You're going to imagine, how does Plus bring things back? Because Arn played that last game extremely well. It's very back and forth, mind you, but Plus definitely lost a lot of the momentum he gained in the first round. Ooh, oh, some more damage locked in. 
Oh, choosing to act. Just go for the swag. All right, we're back to Luke's. Yeah, oh, Kratos, you are a different kind of breed right now. Yeah, beautiful blocks. We are merging on plus two, and he got away with it, knowing that Shao has no real way to enforce that, by the way, besides a little poke. I mean, the irony of having a name of plus is not real and being challenged of plus two is <laughs> quite poetic. Round two, fight. But now we are going into our next round at the moment, and Arn has been controlling the pace. You spend both, but that is so, that is so sick that he can do that. When you think Cyrax can't be a more well-rounded character, he can just do that. Low, beautiful checks, and just Arn going back into it once more. Burns 50% on the bar. Link extremely well right now, unfortunately. Plus, it, he's, he's been all right, looking to bring things back. He has been caught a fair bit, but this is Shao. Oh, ho, ho, goes for the overhead. Gonna crack him yet, guess oh, again. Oh, that makes this real. Yes, here it comes. That's what Shao can do to you. Once that character keeps going, Ooh. very hard to oh. stop him. Interesting. Makes no, him no. for the fuel blow instead. <laughs> Gets the invincibility. <laughs> Bro, they've been throwing. Remember what I said before? When I said in MK11, this man would walk back and forth, wait for you to press the button, and just fatal blow in your face. Just seen it again. No, that was a Kratos blow, chat. I'm pretty sure that Arn Kratos is gonna join the chat now and spam his Kratos blow emote, because that was definitely one. Absolutely, and very well played from him on his part. I still think Plus definitely, definitely has a chance in this, because he's been playing it so well especially with the mixes of the lao hat but man i can't lie that just the challenge i say that the challenge just like lol you went and press a button i have failed well <laughs> oh man ridiculous sets and i can only say it once again the character variety is what's so beautiful today not top tier heavy at all tonight and that is such a big surprise looking at the current meta here in the arena these NA players are going crazy. Back to the potential last round of the night. Arn Kratos in the lead. They're yeah, playing very well. Again, catches him with the air score. Beautiful reactions from Arn, but oh my days. This combo conversion, I've never seen this. Goes for the overhead low, catches him again. You gotta guess, what's it gonna be? Twitches upside, gonna get the ax back. He gets the back throw, get in there. Pulse really controlling the point of the game. Oh, wait a minute. So How did he active. get clipped by that? I don't understand that everything. Was, bro, that was so active. That's crazy. And he still oh. picked it up on Kratos, trying to bring this back. Very, very well done. Still very composed despite the life deficit currently, but plus looking to keep it very simple, not overextend and beautiful catch. Oh, such a sick axe. And well, I will say that's a very edgy <laughs> costume for Shao. We're gonna cancel the string once again, keep himself safe, but oh! Breaks through with the armor. So low log checks at the moment. Catching on for challenging that, reinforcing those plus frames. Gonna get a jump over. Goodbye, Cyrax. See you later, but. The spacing is sweet. immaculate from Plus is not real. He knows exactly what he's doing. He's playing this so incredibly well. This is a different Plus that we saw from the last game. He's controlling the match so well. And is this a brutality? Oh, the way he set that up. It is there. not I haven't jets, seen all of them. But once again, a big, big warning to all the headphone users out there. It is going to get loud. HPT, put those seatbelts on. We have another Game 5 on the menu. My heart can't handle this. <laughs> no, it is too much for me as well. I'm so happy that I have you as a backup tonight. Arn Kratos, plus is not real. A phenomenal, interesting matchup so far. But there can only be one winner. Someone is gonna die after the next round. Who is it gonna be though? That's the main question. We are gonna set this entire thing on fire. Thank you guys so much for being here. Let's press the button. Here we come. To trust me again. Final game, do or die situation. Elimination. So, we have the losers here, out permanently. Let's see what Plus is able to do, and let's see what Arn can actually do to change the course of the tide. But beautiful blocks right there. Because the overhead goes with a big axe swing. Oh, armoring through this bad boy. This man has no fear at all, and there's the big lollipop swing. I said earlier today that some people were swinging. 
Plus took that very literal and keeping himself safe off that big massive axe grab. Just being so oppressive to on right now and oh, catch him out. Again, there's so many trades between the two that aren't really leading to big combo damage, but saying that on looking for that optimal, get the big combo drop. Choose to check for the down one. Sarah's gonna get that push back, but all oh, catches him off beat. Nice, goes for the skulls again. Another skull. Very, very smart from Arn. It looks like Arn just wants to kind of slow down the pace a little bit, so it favors to him. But right now, he does have the cameo. Again, wait a minute. Oh, Arn, he's trying to press oh, the button. I just hit me again. You know what? That is a challenge and a callback for what happened in the previous round. He's like, remember when you were pressing? I'm going to press now. Big respect from Plus. Match point for Plus right now. And Arn is in a do or die situation. Oh, catch him with a stray shot. It's caught with a straight loud shot. Nice. Looks like Arn's choosing to go favor those projectiles a little bit instead from overextending as we saw in the last game. Catch oh, him off tempo. Gonna get the breaker out of Arn. Not quite get the full combo punish, but push him away. Goes for the low. Goes for the low again. No, this show is literally a Dark Souls boss. Arn Kratos <laughs> fighting for his life. Beautiful stuff right now. It is currently looking a bit like Arn's game, but as we've seen with Plus, it takes one little small decision that was actually really smart, and I never thought about that. A great way of challenging that low hat is to jump backwards, throw out one of the projectiles, challenge that jump in. Really oh, smart stuff, and... I cannot take this anymore. I we are going I to a final on. round in this one. So close. I, I literally can't. My heart can't take this. This could go either way at any point of like the micro small decisions any of them make. Oh, we're going to catch Lau. Not a lot of damage, but goes for a big down two. Staggers the string. Going to get the Cyrax for the safety. Oh, spacing, but can't quite capitalize off it. Full combo damage coming his way. Has to get the breakout on. Oh, see you later. Again, Arn's playing this really small. Really smart. Gonna catch him oh, with the low. Gonna huge get opening. Up. From class is not oh, real, and now Arn out of bars to break. Yeah, just choosing to hold the block button at the moment. Definitely needs that safety from Cyrax at the moment. Oh, look for the low. No one quite home. Gonna catch Lau. Oh, gonna. <laughs> oh no, that fatal blow. I'm, I'm eyeballing that fatal blow right oh, I'm now. I'm seeing it as well. Arn gets the throw. Oh, this wait. might be huge. Wait a minute. Still have a final game. Almost quite there. Go for the low. Oh, no. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Bro, that, that, that was... What? What is this? How? That... What? <laughs> what? I mean, that was so HPT, well played. We say this after every single match today, something like, man, that, that is one of the best MK1 we have seen so far. But am I lying? Am I lying, Chad? These matches are outstanding. That, that was insane. That was ridiculous. I'm kind of lost for words there because it was so back and forth, nonstop to the very last game. Like, literally, uh, the second I saw that forward grab, I was like, oh, no, is he actually, like, does he have the meter for that? Unfortunately, the slight overextension from Plus just gets him caught out by Arn. He closes out the game methodically. That was GG's so close. all around. It was so close. Oh. What a great showdown. And once again, that show is dangerous. Plus is not real showing it once again. Let's take a look at our bracket because round one now officially in the books HPT. Are you ready for round number two? I need a break in here. Hell no. I, my heart ain't designed to handle this, man. <laughs> this has been so good. And I mean, look at our semifinals. We got Honeybee against Sparks. We got Burrito against Arn Kratos. Whoever wins those, they go into the grand finals. Whilst we may only have three games left. If necessary to win. God, I love these intros. They are so cool. I agree with that. Round one. But now let's one. take a look. Two very unique characters. Once again, Reptile Tanya is Sparks ready for one of the most consistent NRS players in the world. 
Yeah, beautiful stuff from Honeybee as well. Like, right out the gate. Oh, beautiful challenge. And the Spark just throwing everything to the wind. It's like, I want to see what you're doing. I do not want to deal with those 50-50s. I respect it. And get caught with the low at the moment. Gonna catch him out. The Basilisk run, but we're going to get the full combo off it. Into the restand. Going to get the invisible set up. What's it going to be? Catch him with the overhead. Oh, we're just, we're just completely jumping over oh, it. Oh, That's so sparks. sick. Well, very bold. Catch him out with the Goro. Oh, the trade of the overhead. Nice, that one Basilisk run. Going to get the side switch. And San in front of whatever the hell that thing is Shang has made. And Stump Price, thank you so much for the subscription. Stuff going to get the side switch again of Honeybee. Going to get the wake up. Oh, what, what? What? I've never seen a standing one challenge of that. that. Is that a bait? Was that just a press of Honeybee? I have no idea what we are watching right now. This is too much for an old man like me. These players <laughs> putting on a show for you. Ooh, interesting. It's caught at the end of it. Of course, when it comes to... I'd say that Tanya Goro is probably the most popular pick right now. Due to the level of safety, Goro just kind of fights this character. But that... I don't Great know what cancer I from at. Honeybee. I think that was even on Reaction HPT. That was, that was so swift. My goodness oh, me. But beautiful opening. Oh. We are waking up with violence though. Sparks. Yeah, gonna capitalize as much damage as possible. Gonna go for the low this time. Oh, out spaces Honeybee. Gonna do a lot of damage. Folks, I'm gonna get the backwards throw. Is that it? Just enough. Did you think you had Final round. Very good stuff from Spark. This is going to be such a back and forth match. And as I pointed out, this is going to be very momentum heavy because Honeybee. Oh, beautiful catch. Honeybee has been using the Force Ball to kind of control the pace of the match itself. Whereas Spark just wants to get in your face, overwhelm you with plus frames, go for that big buff, and it's kind of keep you in close proximity to slowly chip you out. But oh, again, we're just getting this disgusting setup. Beautiful stuff from Honeybee. But that tracking on Goro, man, that cheats to knock it out. Poor Reptile and his invisibility, but off the raw spiral. Get that big buff on the board. Be caught by that overhead. And once again, we are playing neutral. We are playing footsies. Honeybee finds that opening. One up. I would not expect anything less regarding footsies from a Flash player. <laughs> this is what Honeybee is known for. It insane gameplay tonight i am so impressed mm -hmm. this has been very very interesting like i said once honeybee is able to control the pace of the game with his projectiles and then set up going into invisible sparks is he's playing really well around that but he can't quite capitalize too much of it because what he does is that he throws out either one of the spiral moves that kind of knock him out of it on block, or he goes for the Goro assist, but Honeybee's been challenging that actively, so I'm intrigued to see how that affects this next game. I completely agree with that, HPT. Let's take a look at that next game. It is time. 1-0 Honeybee, but he had to fight for that first W. Can he get another one? Very much so. I'm just super intrigued to see how this goes. And very smart from Sparks as well to actually go extremely early on for that buff. Just chooses to jail it. Oh, full combo punish. It's going to be a nice amount of damage as well with the buff activated. 31% economic chuffer. Oh, just a, a bit of a scramble right now. Both players pressing buttons. Can't quite get much out of it. It's a big jump free. Oh, good challenge from Sparks. Go for the low this time. I'm just gonna just be armor again. Gonna get a full combo punish off this. Oh, he's been out spacing on me so well with the two. Gonna have the corner to work with as well, but <laughs> only B is like, nope, I am getting out of there. Gonna look for the buff. No. Just to go for the optimal damage, 41%. And there's the armor. You gotta be careful with it. One of the Plus best wake ups uh, wake ups in the game, in my opinion. Right. Without a doubt, because here's the thing, right? Like, even that, it's got the armor on it. You can train effectively, but the chip on it is so good. There's so much pushback, especially in the corner. But talking about that, Honeybee looking to bring things back. Going to get the restand. Nice. Actually, just going for damage instead of uh, going for the invisible. Nice. Catch the air. That, that was so sick. I cannot praise that nearly enough. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, but the catch is going to get the optimal damage. This has been a very, very different game from what we did see earlier. And just, uh, I don't even know how to describe that. That was so well played from Spot. It is back and forth all day long in every single match. Mind-blowing tournament so far. Once again, a big, big thank you to every single one out there still watching, still spending time with us. Close to 1,300 people live here on Twitch. And these sets are... Uh, I don't know if I'm if I'm not maybe too old for this. This is going to test our age and our heart health, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> That's what these games are going to do to us. But so, so well played from Sparks in that game. Bringing things back and putting himself back on the board against Honeybee. Back to the match we go. One, 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 fight. Yeah, I'm, I'm intrigued to see what Honeybee is able to do here, but the raw spiral, but no punch on it. And that's something that Honeybee needs to be a bit more aware, a bit more comfortable dealing. It's just those point blank armor challenges that he is getting hit by a fair bit. And Sparks right now just carrying so much momentum going into this game. Oh, beautiful hit off the extended string. Going to go into the restand. Going to go into the invisibility. Honestly, he's been getting so much mileage off this in the last game, but... Well, but we talked about it earlier, HVT. Honeybee, the master of adaptation, right? He is so good at it. Figuring out his opponent's game plan and then adjusting accordingly. Yes, that's something we can never keep him out of. But right now, it seems like Spark does have the upper hand. So I'm interested to see what Honeybee is able to pull out because Spark, he's spacing things out so well. He's micromanaging his buffs and his timing really, really well. But I think Honeybee kind of needs to be careful. Again, it's that wake up for that move. He's been getting so much mileage out of it, but goes for the challenge on the plus frames. Let's go. Can we go for the invisibility. Oh, what's it going to be? Oh, catch him out of the air. Dude, that oh, was that is is so sick. Oh, the that end is, is so still sick. going. It is still not over yet. Good patience from Honeybee, but Goro making all that safe. Yeah, and Honeybee being aware, he has been clipped by that move time and time again. Now has adapted to it, gonna close out the game and Honeybee looking to bring things back. Oh, that's gross. Size off. Oh, got full combo punish. Gonna go over. Yep, same optimal once again. Has the corner to work with, but can't jump over spots this time. She's not challenge plus frames. A lot of buttons being pressed at the moment. Beautiful spacing with Honeybee. They're both of oh. them super patient right now. The battle of neutral. Yeah, that's so smart as well, choosing to run in off the slow ball, but that's the thing as well. You got to be careful with Sparks. Did that you see the spacing on that? That was disgusting. <laughs> that was disgusting. This isn't going to be death, but oh, we got to guess off it. Got to watch out. It's not death territory, but it's a very scary situation. Going to get the forward throw again. Be a shame for Sparks to lose this round, considering how hard he's worked for it, but the slow ball of death? <laughs> The and slowest of the two? And be just standing there full screen saying, checkmate. <laughs> yeah, it really was. Just like, I'm just going to stand here, just keep throwing stuff your way. <laughs> you do without your own volition. Very, very smart stuff from Honeybee. I was very surprised. I don't know what Spark had to answer him because, um, as we've seen with Tanya, her projectiles, if you spend the meter, does eat other projectiles. What? Ah, that's why I didn't have the meter to deal with it. By the time he came down from the ground, oh, yeah. just got it and it was too little too late. It is insane. And someone in the chat sending me a message in German with Google Translate saying, Rips, I cannot thank you enough for all the hard work you're putting on every single day with hosting these tournaments. I'm shocked if I think about how much work this has to be on the back end. Thank you guys so much for, yeah, for making it all worth it in the first place and for supporting us every single day for three plus years now. Crazy that's been going on for this long, but amazing stuff at your end. But an exhibition, but my god, Honeybee is trying to put an exhibition of his yes. own. Honeybee wants to close this out, but Sparks, wait a minute. Great opening, big damage. Yeah, still absolutely in the fight at the moment. Go for some really big bold choices and call outs right now, but oh, go to the Basilisk run. Doesn't want to have to deal with the Goro. Very stagger heavy, but Honeybee choosing to challenge it gets caught with the low. Throwing out the very slow balls. Oh, get caught. He'll try to challenge with himself. Gotta be careful when it comes to that spanning two on Tonya, man. He's throwing 
full screen. That raw spiral tap into the Goro assist. You gotta be careful for that. It's one of the craziest parts about Goro, man. And that is, of course, the new meta as well, right? Players have to watch out for it. Unsafe specials into safe cameo. Oh my god, yes, very, very much so. It's such an unorthodox way to play the game, but we gotta talk about the boldness of Honeybee to just neutral duck point blank. Oh. Sparks this man has no fear. Another big combo incoming. Sparks, no bar available. One lonely bar there at the bottom. Not enough. Yeah, now has the meter to work with. True up those force balls, unlike before. Ooh, gets caught the stray string. Full combo coming. His way, but unfortunately gets the drop. Honeybee is still very much so in the fight. One touch will equal death here from either player. Oh! Very, Yo, very close. He, Once again, same situation. Today. Do we get the same <laughs> yeah. finish again? Honeybee, full screen. Sparks tries to get oh, in. Go Goro once again, opening him up. Oh, no. no. Oh, no. Oh, we're going to catch him out the skies. And, oh, Brit, you know what that means. We got another game. No, five. HBT, please don't do it we to me. Don't do five. it to me. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Well played off Spark. It's really clutching it out and just staggering into that really big damage. Very smart to utilize the fatal blow to close out the game there. Should I tell you? I'm tired. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. What are these players doing to us? We still got two more games to go, oh, and, don't and that includes remind the finals. Me. That includes the finals, man. Everyone out there in the crowd, let's have one more party tonight. Game five: Sparks and Honeybee, single elimination, top A tournament, one hundred fifty bucks guaranteed on the line. Who is gonna win this? I have no idea. Let's press the magic button. Let's set everything on fire, HBT. Here we come, baby. Oh yes, this has been a momentum game through and through right now. Whenever Sparks is able to control the pace of the game, it's been so dangerous. But Honeybee choosing to actually go very aggressive this game, opposed to controlling the pace as we have seen earlier on. But ooh, gonna go for that weapon buff right out the gate. And oh, beautiful conversion from Honeybee. Goes into the restand, into the invisibility once more. Has the corner to work with, but right now just, oh, jumps over it. Still gonna get a full combo conversion from Sparks. The corner is complete switch of the situation. I said just mere seconds ago, gonna get the break route, Honeybee. Oh, there was good Ooh. use of that air projectile from Sparks. Full combo and the side switch on top. Smart decision making. I like it. Keep him in the corner. Jumps in the corner. Interesting option. Yeah, this is a very precarious position for Sparks right now. Honeybee chasing the stagger, but he's gonna get caught. This is chip out death situation and match point Sparks. Round two, fight. Let's see if Honeybee can bring things back, but right now, just Sparks playing absolutely out of his mind so incredibly well. We're oh, gonna catch him, definitely looking for a projectile. Or right the there. trade and Honeybee having the upper hand, at least in this little showdown. Beautiful conversions. Oh, the double cameo combo? 45%, but you know what, Sparks like, I got one myself. I'm gonna get really good Oki off this. Gonna get the forward throw. Nice, gonna chew up the projectile game, has the meter to work with. Beautiful standing one conversion as well. And once again, the corner, which is just so oppressive once in Tanya's hand. Yeah, I'm gonna go for those plus wait, frames wait, again. Wait, Honeybee, 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 there's the bar, finally. I know he was smashing on that controller, but Sparks gets oh, it. Oh, that was so incredible. Oh, in all honesty, I do not think there was very, very much Honeybee could have done in that situation unless it was Horde Block. The Sparks had spaced out perfectly in the sense that he's just going to spend that meter and that projectile to up whatever Honeybee throws his way. Excellent stuff from Sparks and GG's to Honeybee for putting on a really strong exhibition with Reptile. Definitely. I know yes. someone... Yeah, just someone that like has been looked down a heavy amount, still definitely very viable in this game. Another insane matchup. Honeybee, thank you so much for playing here tonight. It is an absolute blast to see you in the arena, basically on a daily basis. But Sparks, is he the surprise of the day? Could very well be, because this win does launch him into those grand finals. But that now means that we have to go to the other side of the bracket and 
Oh. I have a match that it's, it's gonna be Gyarados versus Shao, man. No, it, no, it's Gyarados it versus Shang. Shang. Oh, that's that is this gonna is be a very, I've very interesting matchup. We have Burrito versus Arn Kratos for the last remaining spot in Grand Finals. I cannot wait to see the chat prediction on this one. All right, looks like we're gonna jump into our game here on Rocking the Shang. We all know him for. Burrito bringing out that very experimental, unorthodox, but goddamn strong style of Gyrus. But Arn controlling the pace of the match at the moment, catching Burrito a little bit, and oh, oh he just wanting to stay away, not wanting to overextend. Of course, when it comes to Gyrus, he does get that really big damage with those command grabs once he gets in, but right now, Arn looking for a flawless victory. Low, and yep, this is it. Oh, That's a flawless Kratos, victory. Not impressed at all by the big Sandman here on the stage. Right. Oh, that is so smart. Oh, well. that is perfectly oh, spaced. My days. That was so sick and so smart. Clearly, on very, very familiar with this matchup and showing his comfort seamlessly at the moment. No way is this man going to look for like an. Oh, it's about to say, if he's looking for a double flawless. Oh, we got a full bro. Like, we, we do not need to choose violence. Catch gonna go for that switch again. Gonna challenge Burrito, looking for some offense right now. But on oh, playing this so smart and well. But Burrito finally getting some offense in. Hopefully, he's able to capitalize on it right now. And going for the, the hourglass catches. Goes for the triple. Fair enough. Raw forward three. Goes for the low, choosing not to overextend at the moment. On keeping himself very safe. Gonna cancel again with the start switch. And dude. That and on Kratos. So swift. On Kratos is so confident. He already ordered something with the prize pool on Amazon. He just told me, Rip, I'm gonna win this bad boy. Honestly, with how he played that, it, it, he could have been doing both. He played that so, so well. And considering how we've seen Burrito play like earlier on, that this was incredible. This was like systematic destruction. That was so smart of Arn. And Burrito just played into his hands, kept it very simple, very effective. Whenever there was a single touch, maximize that damage. I mean, we don't have to talk about that match. Averick versus Burrito in round number one. Now it is Burrito versus Arn Kratos for the last spot in Grand Finals. 1-0 Arn. I'm very interested to see what Burrito is able to kind of adjust to, but oh, gonna get full combo damage. Is he gonna go? All right, double down to, I'm guessing. Nope, instead, gonna go for the charges on the hourglass. Two goes for the three, knowing full well what On has done. Oh, beautiful dark goes for the check. Come on, grab. Now has the corner to work with. Oh, beautiful side switch from On at the moment. Gonna catch him. Oh, the side switch. He yeah, did think. The good so old Shang BNB, but we drop it in the end. We don't see that often from a player like Arn Kratos. But he finds yeah, but another big, big combo. Yeah, Burrito choosing to not actually... Oh, that, that was so unfortunate. So Burrito was using, was looking to use the three charges he had in the Hourglass to maybe retrieve all of that life he'd lost. But it was, a little, it was too little too late. He lost the bar for it. He has to hold back for this game. And on right now, just playing a really strong game against Burrito. And this is a very, very different arm from what we saw earlier today. Yeah, I think, you know, Arn potentially just woke up right before the tournament. Now he had two coffees, a little energy drink, and now he's ready to rock. He's been playing this matchup so, so well. And honestly, I, would, I will say it, he's had Burrito's number since things have picked up. The Burrito hasn't been able to show off why he's had such a formidable gear from earlier on, but now he has the corner to work with, but oh, I catch him out of that, but yep, he's going to throw him right back in there again. Wait, do we see the cash out? Fatal Blow on deck, time freeze. Oh no, he might be looking to optimize it at the moment. Can't quite get the full leverage from it. What is going on? Come on, grab. That was definitely uh, that was definitely a bit of press on the spit, but there you go. Another game to on at the moment. Really well played. Again, here's the thing. Burrito, there's so much patience being shown from him. And when he hits, he hits really hard. But Arn just isn't giving him the opportunity or the openings to really make that damage work. Only getting those raw command grabs. And whilst they are really good, 
It's only 12% a pop. He needs more damage. That was insane, and that drop here broke my heart first, but then he brought it back. Aunt Kratos on match point. He is looking at a 3 0 sweep potentially. Very, very much so. And I, I did not see this coming at all because Burrito played so well earlier on. And I, again, it must be familiarity from Arn. And it would not surprise me if these two have played each other because Arn just has an answer for what Burrito wants, what he's looking for. Beautiful, flawless block from Burrito at the moment. But that is so much chip damage, it is outrageous. Beautiful catch. A lot of uh, just slow gameplay being played through by Burrito. But gonna get the command grab gonna have the corner to work with oh boy bit of extra gravity mind you very smart from burrito oh misses the drop can't quite get the hourglass and oh dear oh dear gonna have the full screen to work with gonna get the start switch with shang oh he grabbed him out of the startup and we are spending the bars to get that launch again big damage on kratos dominating yeah, things looking very, very strong for him at the moment. Unfortunately, space, here's the thing. Arn is playing this super smart. He's always staying outside the range of back one, which is one of the main big launches for Gyrus here. Beautiful cat. That is some, um, that's a Baraka energy down one into the spin. Oh no. <laughs> what type of monster have we made? Oh, there is the back one. Gonna have the corner to work with. Honestly, at this point, Burrito's got to maximize his damage as much as possible, but what's keep him in the court? <gasps> oh, wait a minute. It is party time. What is, what is that? <laughs> Dude, that's the beauty of that. Just going to get the double start switch. Going to get 39% on the board. What's wait, happening? Did Who that knows? cover all options? I think that is yeah. basically unavoidable. Burrito setting that up, and there is no escape. You get hit by one of those things regardless. Yes, so it requires two bars of meter during that little time bubble. You're, ba you're basically able to dial in your strings and they will come out. Knowing full well that Arn was looking to press, maybe looking for an armor break, who's just going standing one, standing one, standing one. And once Arn checked it, Rito just capitalized. Very, very smart stuff. Oh, beautiful stuff from both players at the moment. Love page being shown from Rito at the moment. Choosing to get a block string, gets the flawless block. Board one. Oh, back one, two. Oh, dearie me. Full combo punish. Gonna get the quadruple loop. Yep. Get away from me. Go. Yep. Get the start switch as well. Oh, dearie me. And that um, is a good, oh, good way to get out of the pressure it. zone. Burrito fatal. Yep. Has to lock this in. Has to get the kill. But this won't kill. But it's going to put him in quite a precarious position. And... It's ultimately what Burrito does after this point, like, means he wins or loses this game and is out. Oh, that's <laughs> three! <laughs> Burrito, this match is not over yet, chat. Yo, that was, that was sick. That was really, really sick. And very smart of him to have the Cyrax come out as well to guarantee that safety. And let's Excellent. watch this bag. And there is the setup. HVT, yeah. look at this. L literally, look, standing one, because he was looking to command grab him, maybe combo off him, but he couldn't quite get it. Even so, it's just a great way of catching your opponent. And it's still 39%. It's still 39%. But Rio still in this fight. Choosing is like, this is, if this is it, I'm going to go out swinging. <laughs> 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 Swing it. Or in this case, just the jab, 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 standing one, which I also respect. Fight. Now on to our next game right now. See what Burrito has in his pocket. Going to get the big splash. Get the time stop forward two. Definitely looking for the up with the Cyrax. Is he going to go for three this time? No, he goes for the two instead. Chooses to optimize it. Uh, uh, that's three hourglasses locked in. Looking to use the sand. Cast out Shang right now. Very interesting that she's in challenge it, but unfortunately goes for the snap. Can't quite get it. But oh, beautiful space of arm. Just stomping in and out of stance, just on a whim. So well done. But right now, Burrito, gotta be careful. Oh, we're gonna capitalize, get that damage. So smart, and I, like I did not expect 
Cyrax to compliment Shang as well as he does. I am very impressed. Love gets caught by the two, gonna get caught with the command grab and the corner to work with. Oh, oh wait no, a minute. It's wait a minute. I have PTSD right yeah. now. He tried to go for the same setup. Yeah, unfortunately, he doesn't quite have the corner to work with, but very, very strong position right now for Arm um, just controlling the space a little bit. <gasps> the overpress. And that oh, is the block. Arm um, with the oh, miss. Oh, the punish. Punish. oh, the forward three. Oh, is he looking for the he throw? He knew it. He knew it. This won't hurt a bit. Round very, very smart fight. stuff. Had to go for the back throw and the command grab to do that little bit of more damage. But for that block string right now, on. and look at this chip, man. Look at this chip. That was, it's on deck. Uh, gonna go for the quadruple loop. Yep, there it is. Go full screen and gonna get the switch. Oh, and he's just choosing to switch back. Feet. Yeah, Burrito choosing to spend one of those bars in order to guarantee the time stop, or at the very least, the chance and ability to regain some health back and court big damage. But, uh-oh, Arn choosing to go for the break right now. We're not wanting to have to deal with it. An empty snap. No, oh, that is unfortunate for Cyrax. Going to get clips, but Burrito looking for all of the swag and not quite capitalizing on it. But, uh-oh. Oh, double down two. Is he going to get the full combo into the hourglass? Oh no, tries to go for the grab, can't quite get it, but has the corner to work with at the moment. Goes for the low. Back one. Come on, grab. Goes for the roll forward three. Gets caught. Cool. Wake up. Gotta be very careful. Very, very careful. One touch could instantly mean death for either of these players. On Kratos, can he bring this back? There's the Cyrex Copter. Oh my days. Is it game yeah. five? Or is Dude. it gonna be all she wrote for Burrito after this round? So well done. Just a lot of space and a lot of little micro stuff going on at the moment. But oh, I'm looking for that full combo punish. Then the back full screen goes for that low projectile. It has been catching out Burrito a fair bit now. Tries to catch the air to where no one quite home at the moment. And again, right now, on having changed the pace of the game, keeping things very, very simple, going for the triple hourglass. Oh, looking for that snap again, but no one home off it. Well, so much chip getting locked in. Beautiful spacing at the moment, and this is very much looking like on Kratos' game, but... Uh, but wait a minute. That, that wait corner. a minute, Burrito. Oh, he dear. heard you say that, HPT. He was not happy. He was not happy. Goes for the down two. Gonna go for the setup again. Wait. Gets a triple wait. loss. Yep. Take one small decision. Oh, the chip, and that's he gonna... Oh, it. he drops the combo. Down one, forward one, two. Gonna get the grab, gonna get the Cyrax. Okay, to check him once again. Can't quite get it. <laughs> but that chip, that's it. Right, yeah, so, Oh my days. This is, this is, this is so ridiculous. That means, you know what that means, Rip? No, you know, HBT, you, please, not you again. Won. You got another game five, locked in. And, I cannot, uh, I cannot do it anymore, Chet. I need an ambulance. We got to get an exorcist for some of these players because the way they're playing is demonic. My God, man, this is this is one of the hypest tournaments we ever had on this channel. I said the same thing yesterday, but boy, oh boy, what are these matches, HPT? That see, that's the crazy and beautiful part about this game. The longer this game is gonna go out, and the more tech that is gonna be found, the high level of play is just gonna be elevated from this point onwards. So every time we see this game, there's always gonna be something new. Man. Final match. Do or die. Whoever wins this will go up to grand finals against Sparks. So. Oh. Definitely, uh, definitely an interesting back and forth we've had here in this last game. Let's see what Marisa has done to adapt to it. Beautiful blocks. Back one, two. Again, down one check off on. Gonna get a full combo punish off it. Quadruple skull raises? Yep. Get away from me. That's a nice 38% locked in on the board at the moment, but. Burrito, that's very smart as well, because Burrito actually goes for the Cyrax as well to take, like, have a bit of a body cushion to take the hit for him, but try and look to shimmy him. Backdash if you want to. The so blocks. I like the defense from Burrito. Yeah, very well played from on at the moment. Burrito definitely Trip not out of the fray right now, but great stuff from on again. Here's the crazy part. The start of these games, on barely loses any health, and then 
The second burrito basically has a corner to work with, it's just like GG's thanks for playing. Oh, this is gonna be really nice damage. 39%. Nothing to scoff at. Keep himself safe for the Cyrax as well. Uh oh, it's time. What's it oh, gonna no. be? Oh, I don't need to strong on this oh. one. The unfortunate whiff, but even so, that string itself hurts so much. Caught with it raw, 19%. Uh, so smart. Well played. Get off me. Come on, grab. Oh, goes for low. No one quite home there. Very smart of Arn to get out the corner, however. Very strong position right now for him playing against Burrito. Going into this final round of this final game. I am yeah, not final ready everything. For this. Once again, HBT, I'm on the edge of my seat. This is too exciting. Yeah, gonna get that 38% locked in. How see this is smart. Arn is purposely staying where he has Oh, we tried to regenerate a little bit of health, couldn't quite get it. But now here's the thing. Burrito needs him in this position to have that corner to reinforce that game. But Arn just having him play into his hands right now. Gonna go into quadruple. Yep, hell sparks and get away from me again. So smart, so so well. But but you know, I can't count out Burrito. He is he's not ceased to impress me this entire set. He's brought things back and he's done a really solid job. Beautiful flawless block. Goes for oh, the that is huge. Too. Wait, Arn Kratos. Again, Cyrex, flawless block. Burrito so consistent with it. Fireballs <gasps> caught him. And now it is so close to chip out territory. What can he do to bring this Easy. back? Got to keep our time stop but on choosing to spend the meter. Close out the game. Well played to both players. Dear God, this was so back and forth. This, <sighs> was, this was such a scary set. Like, bro, <laughs> this is this is intense. It really is. And that means we have another player now officially sitting in grand finals. After two hours, HBT, it is time for the last showdown of the night. Are you ready? No, no, <laughs> no, I'm not ready. No one's ready. But... All the same, we must go through it, and it will be the grand finals between Spark and Arn Kratos. And I, I'm, I'm gonna call it now. I'm gonna call it now. We're getting another game five. You think so? You think this is gonna go the full distance again? This is gonna be disgusting, and it is, it's gonna go the full distance, and it's also gonna be a very interesting matchup because now we have Tanya against Shang, a character that can oppress and work around Shang's game. Yes. So I'm intrigued to see how Arm works around that issue. It is going to be beautiful to see. I see Honeybee coming in with the raid. Honeybee, thank you so much. Everyone watching this right now, close to 2,000 people here with us. Last match of the night, Arn Kratos versus Sparks. Grand finals, top eight tournament, but only top one payoff. It is the battle for everything. We're going in, HPT. Let's get it. Can my heart handle this? Probably not, but... Even so, man, this is going to be so, so goddamn good. And I cannot wait to see how this all does pan out. It's like, I'm a big fan of both these players and what they bring to the table. It's just, it's so methodical and so well done. Or is it personal? It is both. Chat currently in the favor of one on Kratos, but, you know, it can't count out Sparks. Sparks plays so, so well. Okay, here we go, chat. The last showdown of the night. Aunt Kratos Sparks, who is going to be the champion? Who is going to take home that prize pool? Now, I will say something that Sparks has been doing, and I, I would imagine that Honor has picked up on it himself, because I most certainly have. He does like starting off the rounds with the spiral low, then going into the, yep, into the Goro, which makes her safe. But here's the thing, right? He hasn't been quite landing it. So I imagine that going into these future games, Arn's probably going to be pretty content with just like ducking low and letting Sparks overextend. Like so. See, I didn't quite get it on time. Arn Kratos very, very dominating that first round and Sparks a little bit overwhelmed by that Shang. Uh, understandably so. I, on see the way he seamlessly switches between young and old Shang. It's it's unlike some anything I've seen with other Shang Tsung I've played against. Beautiful catch, gonna push him away. Have the full screen to work with, which has worked in Sparks' favor. But oh, oh gets the win. Beautiful checks at the moment. And one gonna get away. 
Not sure if this is really to Spark's favor at the moment, but he's going to get the buff regardless. Oh, he was looking for a Twitter combo video. I respect it. And oh, another wait, dropped pickup from Arn Kratos at the very end of the combo. Gets another chance though. Another and drop. Another is he one. nervous? Maybe definitely a little bit. We also have to keep in mind that... Oh, okay. Yeah, this man's pretty comfortable and confident in it. But he's also been playing really, really well for the most part. And when it comes to Sparks, he's been over committing and a little bit too reliant on that low. And as pointed and noted out, that Goro cameo can cover a fair bit as it does make you extremely plus. But if you don't time it correctly and you don't angle it just right, you've basically thrown out a raw special. You know what's beautiful? Once again, I have to say it, HPT. The top five used characters in Rips Arena, not even one of them was on stream in this NA top eight. That is impressive. That is, that goes to show the beauty of the versatility. Like anyone in this game seems really vile. And the thing is, whilst the top five right now are kind of the go-to characters, anyone, like you can just see like the different approach in terms of mindset and gameplay is fantastic. What oh, beautiful catch off there by Sparks. Very strong showing, but on with an answer himself has now the full screen to work with. Very smart stuff. But oh, gonna get a full combo. Drop off the Goro assist. Standing four, gonna go push him back again. Not going for the stance switch, however. The grid spacing off Sparks. He's actually got a lot of mileage off it. Oh, gonna go for the raw special on the wake up. For the low, gonna have Sarex completely cover his back. More projectiles. For the low. Yeah, has the forward, uh, has the back throw, gonna keep him there and just gonna catch him out the sky, but ooh! I'll see you later, Goro. And that is there a punish. Is Aunt Kratos just patiently waiting for his turn. He is looking good in this. I believe he's playing this not just incredibly well but he has sussed out like sparks's main game plan because he's getting so much mileage of like just that low that now he's trying to force sparks to just endlessly stagger him and if he can call him out by spacing him but that's something that sparks does need to reinforce in this matchup and that's kind of chewing up uh shank's projectile game really really good space oh goro whiffed goro is drunk send him home hpt <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful catch, gonna get that 23%. Also, Arns played this really smart. As I've noticed with the projectile game, kind of eating that, uh, uh, that projectile, it's purposely had on actually stay in old Shang, opposed to having the traditional four fireballs. Goes for the low. Oh, wait. Nope, gonna get caught by it. Yeah, it's there it is again. He didn't even realize what's happening. What can I say, HPT? He wasn't ready. He was not ready, but Arna playing this incredibly, incredibly yes, well. What a performance. And I think, I think that's the problem with Sparks at the moment. It's the counter adaptation. He's thrown out a lot of unsafe stuff in the first game or so. And once he's had like glimmers of brilliance and like what he's able to do, he's unable to fully commit to yes. it. HPT, you know what the funniest thing is? Change. In this bracket, we have seven players who were born over there in NA and Arn Kratos, an EU player, right? Who yep. now lives over there in NA and he is about to win this thing? No, that is not allowed. <laughs> well, I mean, Sparks is currently the last hope, and you know, <laughs> there's it, it, more pressure to him. But right now, I'm very, I'm very interested if this is a very clean 3-0 game because he's been playing very well. But right now, Sparks looking to prove me very, very wrong. Okay, so just keep staggering him with that string. Goes for the down one challenge. Beautiful, but. We caught by the end of that string yeah i think nope. the, tanya's hitbox might be the problem with that it may very well be because a lot of her stuff is forward extending but oh dearie me on just launching that great stuff has the full screen to work with oh choosing to get right back into the fray goes for the back one too catch him with the three there that is such a cool sequence man yeah, and that's going to be it. Chip sequence. 
our beautiful flawless block bot gets clipped with the low. And match Round point two. on Kratos. Looking very points. comfortable. It is so, so close. Sparks desperately looking for an answer to that Shang, but I don't know if there is one. Not currently. Like on paper, in my mind, I thought like Tonya might have some really strong answers kind of contest, but I think at the end of the day, this is just more of a player matchup than it really is anything of a character matchup. But Sparks again still showing these glimmers of brilliance. Definitely not out the fight just yet, but gotta watch out for that Cyrax assist. Uh, has the full screen to work with at the moment. Go for the low. Low once again. Bog plane is very, very simplistic, but oh, can it be caught out for it? And Goro is gone for the time being. And Kratos, you saw he switched oh. up the ender now. Yeah, beautiful blocks. I'm mean, gonna go. Just looking for that chip right now, but Wait. overextending. Wait. My country map. Oh. Wait. Oh my god, Blink. I don't How think this will it? be there. But this very well could be it. It's gonna come down to the chest here. And this is gonna be in Arn's favor because he is gonna be. It is in oh, wait, What is this it? damage? Yo! It that was enough? Faithless, well. Oh my god. We have a champion tonight, and his name is Arn Kratos. Oh my god. And this is a fatality. Oh, okay, yep, Ugh. we're just gonna eat a bit of brain. Fatality. Jane Soon we. And once again, Arn Kratos Arn. showing us that he is one of the best players in the entire world. What a freaking top 8, what a tournament, the diversity, the overall skill level from these players. That was literally one of the best top 8s I've ever watched. Thank you guys so much for playing. HBT, did you enjoy just as much as I did? Dude, that was so goddamn cool, and it was so much fun to be on here and commentate. See, this is one of the, <laughs> the sneaky little pleasures, kind of, that come from these overseas tournaments. You, know, you don't usually get to see these many players unless, you know, you dabble into Battle of the Coliseum or some of the more local yes. tournaments. Where, you know, this is a really good exhibition to introduce some of the European players to that of the NA players you know this early in the game's competition and of course we do have ect just around the corner that for any true. of those that might be flying over wanted to like scope for competition it is gonna be a great time for the competitive mk1 scene in my opinion but unfortunately this today to, this event today is over and hpt of course we want to say thank you to every single one out there spending more than two hours with us i hope you guys enjoyed it it was an absolute honor for me to host this tonight for now hpt and me we are out everyone stay safe and make some noise in tigris chat thank you guys so much